Hi, welcome to Monday Minutes. I'm Nick. And I'm Jesse. And today we're going to get back on the train and talk to you about the inventory module. You know, inventory is so important, Jay-Z. Because I mean, when you get to the library and you look on the shelf for a book and it's not there, bummed is what you are. Bummed is what we are. I am just bouncing around the room with excitement over this new plugin that PTFS Europe has worked on for Montgomery County Libraries. Um, and a big shout out to Valerie last year who presented on this plugin at Kohai US and got funding for it. So we're really excited to see how it works. Ready to go? Ready to go. Let's share my screen here. So once the plugin's installed, you'll find it under Tools. And then under Tool Plugins, you've got Interactive Inventory. Now this screen is gonna look familiar to a lot of you. This is exactly what the current inventory screen looks like. You have a lot of the same options. We're just gonna keep it simple today. We're gonna to say, don't check any items um, and check for things that are out of order. Um, we're gonna limit it to a single shelving location because most of our books are on display that we've set up for today. Um, and then we'll just get started just to show you how it works. Um, so pretty simple. You just start scanning in your barcodes one by one. I'm typing, but you know, <laughs> limits of testing. Um, and here you go. We can see the first book that we've scanned. We can see the title, the author, more information about it, the location, things like that. Um, when we scan the second book, what's going to happen is that book jumps into the list. We can expand it again if we want to, but we can also minimize it. We can expand this one and we can minimize it. A true interactive inventory. Yeah. And the whole reason this came about, Nick, is because more and more of you have voiced concern about making it easy to go to the shelves and just scan or wand um, your inventory mm -hmm. and how we can make that connect to Koha. Yeah. In the past, you know, you'd have to, you'd go to the shelves, you'd do all the inventory, then you'd come back, sit down at your desk with your cliff bar, your cold green tea, and you'd have to like input the books and then go back to the shelf to find all the books that were missing or out of order. This way you get to do it as you go. So let's keep going and show you kind of what happens as you come across statuses. So here, this book was marked as lost. Um, we can see that it turns up in red. Um, and again, it'll stay in our list. So if we go to the next one, it's still here. We can review that there was a problem. Um, and when we're done, what you'll actually be able to do is hit end session. You'll be able to export this as a CSV so you can have those results with you. Um, now, Nick, let's talk about what happens when we scan out of order, which is totally possible. Okay. So let's say, let's go ahead and do skip ahead. We're going to skip. We did five. We'll do book eight. Um, it doesn't tell us anything on that book, but when we go back right now and we do one of the previous ones, we can see that it was scanned out of order. And this one is also checked out. It has not been checked in because we didn't check that at the start. Um, it's really and, nice to get these warnings. Yeah. And that'll help again if we do another one. So we're still out of order. Let's go back to order and see what happens. There we go. There we go. Um, and we've got one more on our little list. And there we are. This one is also out of order. Um, and this is just because the call numbers were that way. I forgot I put one in to be out of order. <laughs> um, but again, you know, you can see everything that you've done here. And uh, Jacob Amara from PTFS Europe has been working on this. He's done a great job with it so far. Um, and we're excited. It's almost ready for testing for everybody. Once they put together a release that we can share with you, um, then we'll be ready for our partners to test. All right. This is wonderful. Uh, well, thanks for everyone for feedback because this interactive inventory tool is going to benefit everyone as we go down the road. Yeah. So you may have noticed that Jay-Z and I are together in person. <laughs> We've been spending the weekend in Albany going to uh, the fish run, the Divided Sky Benefit shows. Um, we've got our fish swag on. And you may have noticed in the recording, we hit a couple Easter eggs. So if you can find all of them, an email outreach at bywatersolutions.com with each of those Easter eggs that we dropped for you, we'll send you a nice, beautiful, big bag of Bywater swag. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Bye.